um, I'm to make a tutorial about the older version of uh, R R values. Um, so you could call it Yakus, but I find it uh, kind of difficult to pronounce this word. But anyway, it's uh, an R interface to the computer uh, uh, arithmetic system, which is involves some numerical evaluations and uh, also symbolic calculation and it enables you to generate some text uh, latex file and uh, XML file and also um, the um, uh, something called pretty uh, pretty form files so just yep so the reason that I, I'm going to uh, introduce you to this kind of uh, class 0 0.3.1, which is uh, currently the uh, latest version, is that um, it's uh, very likely it's going to uh, uh, some uh, function of utilization of the package is going to be enhanced in uh, the later development because it's uh, not maintained for some time. I, I, I've just become the maintainer of this package so why do we need a, a computer arithmetic system in R? Um, it's, it's basically uh, provide you with a better um, cooperation of your, uh, of your workflow or uh, if you if you already have an R and don't bother uh, install another computer arithmetic system that's reasonable uh, also, there are uh, some other symbolic packages in R, but it doesn't focus on um, mathematics, and it uh, it's not as powerful as this package. As you can see, there's something called derive uh, derive packages, uh, which enables you to just just literally derive things and simplify things. Uh, exp expressions uh, and R has some default uh, functions for deriving things but it's not really powerful and uh, there's something if you want to solve uh, differential equations there's something called ODE soft um, but practically, practically uh, it's good to have some uh, Powerful packages in, in that's uh, inter integrated in the statistics, uh, statistical system that not only enables you to uh, uh, to get a better intuition uh, intuition of the model or to simplify a model or to solve uh, obviously not a very complex system because it's not the because um, sometimes for pure mathematics it's uh, it's not powerful enough for you to solve some really serious math problem but uh, uh, when you get some huge and complex uh, complex expressions to substitute and it avoids you uh, it enables you to be lazy and it's and what's important about this is that it lessens your uh, the chance that you make mistake in your codings and so practically uh, it's a uh, it's just an extension for in, in for our packages but it is based on uh yakas ycs uh, which stands for yet another computer arithmetic system mm. it has extensions for numerical evaluations uh because uh, for for example if you want to evaluate something to 20s digits then R then you're not gonna use double or not gonna use float numbers because it only enables probably six digits 12 digits or or something like this mm. and uh, in terms of uh, there's something called R markdown which enables you to use uh, latex worth which start with two dollar signs and uh, 
some grammar of uh, some grammar of the latex files and uh, you could print out your expressions easier if you don't bother using latex you can you could generate some r expression and this package is going to let you generate some uh pretty looking latex code and you could copy and paste them into the uh into the r markdown file to make the make it look just to just look better or um or sometimes if you are defining functions uh probably using some dots or some prefix uh, slash or something in your variables that's uh not very um, it's it's uh not very possible to use the this kind of expressions it lets you uh, do something like called pretty form uh, which is uh, just literally the same character you're using but they're arranged it for in different in different uh, formats for example if it, it gives you a uh, better viewing of the frac fraction lines something to a power of something so that in if you're using uh, some numerical uh, packages of numerical functions and, and the numerical functions uh, sometimes it's going to be really long and uh, to know what's going on it's a uh, better it's a tool to make your life easier and uh, another feature about this is that he has a isolated workspace <coughs> the, uh, and the essence of this is that uh, the this package works by uh, taking your arguments as character uh, character things and put them into the compiled file in, in R and then in the Yucca's uh, one point I believe it's one point zero uh, one one point six zero uh, although recently we got one point six one and enables you to work on your symbolic expressions without interfering with any of the uh, things in your workspace which it's better uh, would better say uh, a global environment so that you always keep track of what is going on in the in the working environment and isolated from uh, uh, that's isolated from your symbolic uh, intuitional thinking or uh, there's uh, there are some ways that you can express uh, the expressions in R form so that the result a result of uh, symbolic calculation can be put into the R system without without a lot of uh, copy and pasting so. So uh, so let's just do a little. So something important here is that you don't have to you don't have to install this program separately if you want to use it in R. So this is not needed, but if you want to use it separately, you can through this uh, official web website okay well, just uh, this uh, introduction to Ryakas uh, Ryakas or Ryakas uh, nobody tells me how to pronounce it <laughs> right uh, but anyway, let's just do a, a comparison between the numeric calculation and the symbolic calculation first. For example, and I do uh, I use one, B is three, and what I want is mm, so. What I want to want is to calculate uh, expression of uh, so I, I want to sign d is uh, e to the power of um, b 
for example. And I got D, it's a specific numeric value. And, uh, and E is a uh, log. Oh, wait, it's better to um, put B. Let's just do A plus C. We got E. So, and uh, what I want to evaluate is F, which is D divided by. Um, So let's just do that. So as you see in the in your workspace F so you can always print F always so it's uh, one so how many digits do we get? We get ten uh, sixteen, fifteen? Oh, right, that's that's reasonable. But uh what if what if this number here doesn't have a specific value? So one way of, uh, one easy way of using this is to use the sim object. Uh, a lot of tutorials use use this by saying it's a, a elegant way or or the the uh, the sim symbolic way of doing this because, but what essentially it's doing is to uh, turn this thing into a something in into a, a sim class but essentially a, a, a character 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 thing mm, the the reason that it is uh, that it is needed because is is that uh, numeric calculation is essentially different from symbolic uh, calculations uh, if i define a is sim wait I have to load the packet first. <laughs> right, so, load packet. And there we go. A is a sim object called A. Right? So, wait. Uh, so, if you have a look at A, it's a. Uh, what was gonna expression one? Oh, all right, so we should probably do a is a sim character a. So a, a is the expression of a. So uh, expression in R is defined as uh, let's do uh, expression. In R, it's uh, so expression in R is uh, uh, more uh, maybe more general way. It's what you put here. Anything, anything you put into uh, into into in the program, uh, you can say it's an uh, expression. For example, uh, I'm gonna define. My expression is expression. So maybe I do because uh, probably uh, we will do in the L right here. So why is the expression? Remember, it's a, not a function. X to the power of three minus x to the power of 2 times 1 uh, times 4 maybe so y is an expression it's, it's, uh, it is not a function mm. so what if I want to evaluate so this is uh, in base R and doesn't involve anything in records so you could use it without loading this package in, in this section so any expressions, just like function, uh, starts and ends with a uh, curve bracket. And uh, to separate the different uh, lines of code, you use semicolon. I want to define x is y. 
probably use equal sign here so it's not very misleading. I want to evaluate y. Okay. Just tell me it's minus 3. Similarly, mm. and that's minus y. You could uh, also do this like uh, if I define one function, uh, probably not to use, well, probably not to use this sign here. Y function is a function. Y is a function of X and it returns the same thing. If you go y function of x, you just tell it tell it it's one and it's minus three. Y function of um, whether to uh, three it's minus nine. This is the uh, this is the same concept in in different uh, way of manipulation of this bus. <coughs> that so that's what you know about numeric function, but. What's inside a function, if you take a closer look at my function, it's function x, this thing. If I want to turn a function into an expression, it's, it's, uh, it's really uh, easy to do that. Like, I could go body of the function. So body of the function is this. But it's just a body of function, right? We want to turn it as to an uh, expression. We could use as expression. Uh, this is similar as what you see in the R code. When you want to turn something into something, you use as something. Body, body function. So, right, let's call this y expression y. So, This is exactly the same thing here. With this package, you could go uh, body as expression y function, and it just uh, it's just an easy way of doing this. Actually, this uh, that's appear this appear to be the first uh, the first function of the R Yaka's menu. So, right? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, it's just that's just making make things easier. Or maybe not. Maybe this is more intuitive. Mm. That, but that's not really important. What's important is about this formatting is going to matter for your uh, symbolic calculations. So I probably. Uh, uh, as you see, actually, uh, symbolic calculation takes different forms of uh, things into uh, uh, into different functions, and it works also differently. Something, some function prints things but doesn't return things. Some function did, uh, returns things but it doesn't um, uh, doesn't print things into the screen. So uh, this is what I like about this package. It and it's it's always kind of printing something on the screen so you know what's going on inside it. If it goes wrong, you could immediately know it's it's going wrong and why it's going wrong. Probably not. <laughs> so uh, expressions. What are we after? Oh uh, yeah, expressions. So we haven't done this symbolically. This is same a. I want to sim B, sim C, similarly, like I want B is sim B. This is a uh, little bit of tedious. So uh, likely that uh, we will define some easier way of. So, right, so we, so what we have, what do we have? D is the 
exponential of b. B. Now here's the thing. Uh, when we turn, um, if b doesn't have a value or a b doesn't b isn't a same object as b, you just put d is expression of b. It's gonna return you with an error, not a warning. It's an error. So an error is different from. Uh, there are three things that could be returned from the uh, console. One is message, which usually suggests you do something. For example, suggests you to uh, change the width of the bar graphs, or uh, it's a warning. Turns you there's some structure problem. Uh, so these packages uh, now have a lot of warnings basically because uh, it depends on the XML XML package uh, which we mm, very likely we will uh, stop that in the near future because there are XML too. Uh, other problems are basically the problem of tidying up formats but uh, but the uh, utilization functions, hopefully, uh, I, I've, I've done some utilization functions and uh, in the next section we probably um, do this a little bit more, so. Uh, uh, we have it down, uh, so E is just A plus C, because A and C is already a symbolic uh, thing. So E is going to be an expression. Well, let's just see. There we go. Wait, what happened? Right. Good. So, yeah. And F. Let's just run this code and it returns you with f. What is f? It's an expression of this. And you could do pretty form f. Hopefully that makes more sense. Uh, or you could do a text form. But we'll get into that in the, in the next video. That's, the, that's basically how it works. And you could use it to factor, solve equations. Uh, we are using the uh, same object so far. Uh, just to remind you, we are we are recently uh, we we're just using the global environment, not using the specific environment. So you could do something similar. Uh, what if we go uh, f equals to like? There's some some function called g, which is f plus. Which is this? We got G. So what is G? So it is uh, simplifying the function automatically for you because you are using the same object and the the, the package recognizes it and uh, yeah. And you could also do some factorize. F -f sorry, factor factorization. Plus one, x minus one. Wait, what's, what's going on? Oh yeah, because you have something called. Uh, all right, let's just remove x. Something you use in some uh, in. Com Computer arithmetic system like Maxima is to kill something. Uh, it's to kill the numeric value. It's to remove the numeric numeric value of something. We R. We could just remove the uh, the x. And uh, if I go x, it's uh, symbolic x. Then it's gonna work for me. 
uh, factor. Wait. Oh, actually not. A uh, uh, factor is the other way of uh, defining it. If you could go this oh <laughs> capsule. Right, so it's telling me x plus y, x minus y. <coughs> That's the that's one that's one way of using this. Uh, you could uh, use uh, a lot of different uh, functions like uh, expand, simplify, integrate, uh, de derive it within uh, this thing. So uh, what's in, what's interesting about derive is that uh, is that you actually get five or uh, four or five 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 version of deriving things. The first thing is d something. You don't have to load the function. Just use use the base R to do this. Uh, say I want to uh, say I want to derive the expression cos x squared minus y, uh, and this respect to x two times x. But here's the thing: if I want to go dy dx. Well, if I assign it to uh, 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 some name, uh, uh, I'm I'm not uh, not really sure if that works in all all of the functions. Um, and also, you could do derive. No, derive with the lowercase letter here, so you don't have to load a package called derive, and this is different. <laughs> and that's probably not making any sense to you, but this expression is. Uh, actually recording the uh, uh, kind of uh, steps or method you're applying to a certain kind of functions and uh, and also you could assign this like DIDX2 uh, this is not partial function this is just two version of uh, derived uh, derive functions so, here we got two. What do we got? Right, so you wanna evaluate x swans. So Probably do the same thing so that prove that I'm not lying there. They are actually the same value but slightly different structure. It's not very important because uh, you already know that. And uh, if you want, uh, if, but the problem of using this x, x equals y is that it's uh, uh, if you look for x, it's signed to one, but we actually want a symbolic thing here. We actually have to redefine it to. Symbolic value uh, of x, which is quite annoying. Right. It's, uh, that's how it works. But with this function, we could also go derive uh, where do we get it? Yeah, this. So I want to I want to say this is this is my new y. Right. So, and instead instead of putting quotes mark x, I could just go x because it's already a symbolic uh, symbolic thing. But actually, uh, I guess it's the same thing. But if you want to simplify that, so 
in this way, this is probably not the best idea. Mm, design DOIDX3. I'm not using the derived. Um, I haven't. Uh, I haven't used the derived packages here. I just use the right packages and uh, it's doing anything, doing everything for me. So, what's this? Right. We want to simplify that, and we go. Simplify. Which let's two X. Pretty good. Uh, and something different about evaluation here is that in uh, we should say that's uh, because form of evaluation. So we could go uh, evaluate this kind of DOI DX3. Okay. Oh, we, we don't have to use this bracket because it's not a. Uh, wait, wait, actually, what is the. So it's tell you telling you access DYDX3. For example, I go so that's two. But when when you go X it's still an expression X. So although I put X equals one here, it doesn't assign you uh, a real value to the uh, to the to workspace, so X is still class same object character uh, character X. It doesn't assign any value to you. If you want to save the, if you want to save it, uh, use the traditional evaluation because it's actually evaluating act, uh, any of the parsed, uh, mm, let's say parsed expression in R. So uh, we'll probably uh, uh, say a little bit more about this kind of evaluation function and expression and their relationship before we get into the next section. All right.